Hey everyone, Ravi here from Llama Index. So in this video, I'll discuss about uh, a Llama pack on recent paper from UC Berkeley on Raft, adapting language model to domain specific RAG. So currently, uh, there are primarily two approaches in injecting new knowledge into LLMs, uh, which are uh, one is RAG and the other is fine tuning. But uh, what is the current um, optimal methodology for the model to gain such new knowledge uh, still remains an open question. So this paper, Raft proposes an approach uh, wherein uh, given a question and a set of retrieved documents, they try a model to only use relevant documents. Um, for those, it will help to answer a question and uh, uh, chunk out the relevant documents when answering the question. So they have Oracle document, which is relevant and the destructor documents, uh, which are irrelevant documents uh, uh, to train a model for a given question and also an answer. So uh, the question they are trying to answer is how to adapt uh, pre-trained LLMs for retrieval augmented generation in specific domains, right? So uh, they speak about an interesting analogy here, which is a closed book exam. Uh, you don't have an access to any external documents or references uh, to the questions, but LLMs are uh, trained on what's vast amount of data. So they'll be able to uh, answer the questions without any um, access to any additional documents. But then there is an open book exam wherein LLM has an access to the external source of information. And then uh, it uses these knowledge uh, in a rag fashion to generate an answer for the uh, given query. But this approach is heavily dependent on the uh, quality of retriever. And also sometimes uh, uh, the retrieved document might contain relevant information as well. So then we are entering into domain specific open book exam. In this exam, the LLM will be fine tuned for the specific domain. And then uh, we keep asking for the queries to the uh, fine tuned LLM. So this paper talks about uh, mainly uh, domain specific open uh, book setting, how uh, they can use this approach in the setting. So let's uh, see uh, how they create the data set for, uh, for this fine tuning process first. Uh, what they do is uh, in the usual SFT process, what they do, you have questions and answers, right? And then, uh, and then in the inference stage, you have questions, you have query uh, for the trained model, and then uh, a answer is generated. But then during the RAG, uh, what you do is you have query and then the retrieved documents as well and you both the to the LLM and generate an, generate an answer in the retrieval augmented generation phase. So uh, in Raft, what they do is uh, they take the whole data, but uh, in preparing, let's say there are 100 samples uh, in the data set. Uh, let's say for 90 samples, what they do is uh, uh, take a query and then the correct context of the query from which you can generate an answer and then irrelevant context or the documents for the given query and you have an answer for it. And for the rest of the 10 samples, they remove this uh, uh, correct document, but uh, have the already irrelevant documents for the answer to this query. This way you will be able to uh, help the model to memorize the answers instead of uh, deriving them from the context directly. Uh, that's the approach. And also you should note that the raft is independent of the retriever uh, used. Okay. So, so uh, we'll get into the details of uh, how you can uh, directly create this data set, uh, the code part next. And one inter key interesting thing is uh, uh, they use COT chain of thought to explain the answers as they observed uh, an increase in accuracy in answering questions with this approach. So, and uh, a net detail uh, for each sample in the training data, all they have is the question and the answer and then uh, Oracle document and then uh, distracted documents as well. So with this uh, set of um, training data set, they then fine tune the LLM and then use it uh, for it to generate answers for the given queries in the specific domain. So let's get into the llama pack part uh, wherein i'll go through the code base uh, on how it's designed so this is the uh, uh, rap data set llama pack 
um wherein uh, uh, you can directly use uh, the a pack to create the training data set to train the app model so all it takes is a file path if you want llm any specific llm you can go with it or uh, embedding model at uh, the default is open embedding model and the number of questions that uh, you want to create per chunk and the uh, number of distractor uh, docs what is the chunk size and all and default uh, breakpoint uh, percentile threshold is for uh, uh, creating semantic uh, chunking um, so so yeah so let's get to the uh, uh, run part so initially we create uh, these chunks given a document uh, we uh, load the document using the simple direct reader and then use semantic uh, splitter uh, sorry semantic uh, splitter node parser to create the nodes and then uh, get the text for each node and return them so that's how you uh, basically get the chunks out of it so once you get the chunks you basically define the number of distracted docs it should be less than uh, number of chunks available right so uh, take the minimum value of both of them and then uh, for each chunk you create uh, the data set like for each chunk first you create the questions uh let's say uh, here the number of questions for each chunk is five and again for each question you uh, create the answer uh, cot answer as well as uh, what is oracle document what is the distracted documents so let's uh, get to this function here so here uh, you uh, you generate the instructions here uh, so which creates basically the questions uh, for from the given chunk so if you go here, uh, <clears throat> you have a prompt to create question answer page, and then uh, you will create all those questions. Uh, by default, it creates five queries per chunk, right? So it creates, uh, this function creates five questions per chunk. And once you have a query, you have to create what is the context, what is the COT answer, and what is the uh, Oracle context, right? So so for these and then you need to decide uh, whether this particular sample will have an oracle document or not so this part of the code decides it by uh, having uh, a random sampling and then once you have that you create the oracle context and then what is the what are the uh, what is the cot answer um, and then uh, have the uh, other uh, context so this way the whole uh, data set uh, will be created the and then it is being written so once we have these data set which is uh, hugging face data set format you can use them uh, in your train fine tuning pipeline so now let's get to see the notebook uh, walkthrough how you can use this llama pack to generate the data set so in this notebook, we'll look into how you can use the Llama pack to create the data set here. So we need OpenAI API key by default, and then download the Polygram essay text. Um, we'll probably remove uh, a part of it because uh, it takes huge amount of time to create uh, uh, the training data for the whole data set. Uh, probably I'll just take very small part of it. And then when this is done, you uh, import wrap data set llama pack. And then you the file path and then run it. So, so this is there are three, three chunks created and it's processing uh, chunk one. And uh, this will take quite some time uh, since backend uh, this uses GPT-4 and uh, embeddings as well so as you can see uh, it used embeddings in the first call uh, to create the chunks um, that's because we are using semantic chunking uh, parser and then um, for each chunk uh, the first one will be to create the queries so we have created five queries uh, by default and then you can see uh, the the rest is for creating answers uh, one two three four five so there are total six api calls uh, uh, 
uh, for each chunk once to create the questions and uh, and then again the subsequent calls for creating the answers for each question in a chunk so and then the next one is uh, going for the chunk one so and again the chunk two later on and then uh, once uh, the data set is created you can uh, save it in arrow format or json format or this is in hugging face uh, data set format and then you can directly use it for fine tuning purposes so this might take i think another minute or so to inspect the data set so we have uh, 15 rows as I said uh, we have three chunks we have created three chunks and then five queries per chunk so I there are 15 there are 15 samples here with cot answer query context oracle context details so you can inspect the first uh, sample so you can see what is a query what is a context and then uh, what is our Oracle context? What is the COT answer? And all those things. So, and this can be used for uh, further fine tuning purposes. So, I hope uh, you enjoyed the uh, video on and understood the video on the raft llama pack. Uh, do try it out and let us know uh, if it has improved your uh, rag pipeline. And thank you and see you in the next video.